Hi, my name is Peter and today I would like to introduce you KNX Binary Input Module made by GVS. The device is a DIN rail mounted device and it occupies 6 units on the DIN rail. Binary input is available as a 4, 8 or 16 volt inputs. Every single input can be separately configured. For every channel we can choose one of the 9 functions. First, and the most basic function is a switch. We can create two independent grouped objects for short contact and long contact reaction. We can program them as a one bit object as toggle, on or off. Second function is a switch with timing function. Also here we can configure two independent reactions on the short and long contact such as switch, on, off, brighter or darker. Third function is a value up. It means that we can send value or number from 1 bit to 2 bytes. Also in this function we can send separate value by short and long contact. Fourth function is a scene control function. We can send two independent scenes by short and long contact. Fifth function is a shutter control. Of course we have short and long function too. We can operate shutters by steps, commands as open, close or stop or by predetermined value like open till 20%. Sixth function is a shift registration. It is a very interesting function. Basically, it acts as a counter which can count up or down, and after determined number of impulses, it can activate a signed grouped object to perform operation we need. Seventh function allows to drive RGB or RGBW lighting. We can create one 3 byte or 3 1 byte object for RGB and one 6 byte or 4 1 byte objects for RGBW light. Function number 8 is a multiple operation. This function combined all above functions. We can create four independent grouped objects from 1 bit to 2 bytes for short contact and four separate objects for long contact also from 1 bit to 2 bytes. Another function is a delay operation. Also here we can create independent function for short and long contacts and create grouped objects from 1 bit to 2 bytes and set delay time. Again we can create two separate objects, one for short operation and one for long operation. If you think that this is all available options of this small device, you're wrong. Binary inputs has a lot of logic function and even group settings, but I will tell you about this later. If you have any technical questions about binary input or any other GVS device, don't hesitate to contact me.